All right, so before we start the real statistics, we have to go through some basics just about different types of data. So some of this can be a little bit boring, but they're just going to be really quick, small videos. So uh, first of all, we have to talk about how data is split up. So data can either be categorical or numerical. So first we're going to talk about categorical. So categorical data means there are no numbers. That's the important thing. And it can be split up into two separate things, into ordinal or into nominal. So first ordinal, there's an order to it. So it's data without numbers that has an order. An example of this are your grades, so A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? So th those aren't there anymore in the leaving cert. You have your H1s, H2s, um, but you, you all understand how these grades work. Also then, uh, nominal data is another type of categorical data. So nominal data doesn't have an order. So it's when you're, say, counting cars on a road, the different colors of cars would be nominal data. So red, black, blue, etc. Okay, so those are two different types of data. And now we're gonna look at the next kind of big category. Uh, which is numerical data, okay? So numerical data is either going to be split up into discrete or continuous data. So we'll talk about discrete first. So discrete, it can have whole numbers only. So examples of that would be, say, people in a classroom. So the important thing is you can't have half a person or a third of a person. You can only count in whole numbers. So people in the classroom, people at a football match, stuff like that. The next one then is continuous data. Uh, in continuous data, you can have decimal places. So it's not only whole numbers. So you can have decimal places in continuous number. And examples of continuous data um, are heights, weights, time. And there's loads of other examples as well. Okay. So I just drew a little graph here. I don't know if that helps, but some people prefer uh, little graphical things when they're learning. And the last thing we have to talk about, we're almost done, um, is primary and secondary data. So the difference between these two. So primary data, the first one, is data that you gather yourself from asking people or from counting things, okay? And um, so if you're doing your own survey, if you're doing your own research, then you're getting, you're gathering primary data. Uh, the second type of data is secondary data. So data that other people have gathered and that you use. So examples are census data and school books. Uh, so they can just ask you in the exam to kind of um, differentiate between primary and secondary data or else give examples of say either ordinal nominal discrete or continuous so if you just know basically what it is and know an example of it then you should be okay so that's it for just the di different types of data uh, in the next video we're going to start talking about um well some more types of data i guess sorry those are the kind of the basic types we're going to continue talking about types of data in the next video if you liked it uh share share the video with your friends and um, i'll see you next time